This painting by Vincent van Gogh is one of his later post-impressionist type of painting. In his lifetime he produced 860 paintings and over 2,100 other artworks taken in watercolours and so on. He passed away at the age of 37. He only sold one painting in his lifetime. In this video I'll try and reproduce these types of effects using the standard filters within GIMP. I'll close this one off. Now I have my image. The first thing I do in the standard filters of GIMP, I go to filters. I come down to artistic and I choose oily. That'll, that'll make it look like a painting effect. Now I'll drag it, that compass point down to an area where you can see the painting effect come in. So I'll, I'll leave it at the default because it looks quite heavy but it won't show it on the screen. I click OK. We go to filters, distorts and eye warp. Now in the eye warp we click on the radio button swirl counterclockwise. Click on that one. Now we'll work on the clouds. He used uh, the clouds quite a bit in some of his later paintings and they were all very raggedy looking. They were placed on with uh, a very heavy brush and paint. Now I'll go to uh, swirl clockwise. I'll hit that radio button and hit some more clouds and give them that sort of a twisty effect. Okay, now I come down to the fence. I need to drop the radius down because it's quite heavy on the fence, the brick fence. I put it on a 12 and just move those around. Not so heavy, but to sort of give them a blurry effect where he would have used a hard brush on it with uh, heavy paint. He did that type of impressionist later in his life and they were the paintings that really uh, earned some big money in in the later years. Now we go over to the field, we just change a few of that um, flowers there and we hit the tree, just give it a bit of a swirl. Not a great deal. Now we click OK and we see what we've got. Now you can see the fence and the cloud type. Now we need to, to choose the cottage, so we go to my rectangular tool and make a selection around there so that we choose that part of the image. Then we go back to filters and show reshow eye warp. And that gives me the smaller confined area where I can do the uh, thumbnail. It's not, it's not very large, so once again I'll leave it around about 12 because here we need to warp some of these parts. Not a great deal because in later stages his artwork was, wasn't a great deal of straight lines and so he was quite heavy with the brush. Now we click OK. Now I go to select and select none. The next filter I go to is down here to map and I go to Bunt Map. Here we move the, uh, the depth up to about 20 on this one because he was very heavy with the brush. Now you can see the heavy brush type of marks that the uh, Bunt Map will give you. So I'll click OK. Now I have that very hard oily looking appearance. So, so that's our v Vincent van Gogh image and um, that's using the standard filters in GIMP. Once again, down below on Show More there's a link to a web page where you can get a hard copy of this in a PDF file.